We've sailed to Canada in order to be able to renew our US cruising permit. So in the meantime, we've been exploring some more islands in the Gulf archipelago. We met up with our friend Kenneth in Victoria and drove north to see waterfalls and ancient trees. Kenneth's family had joined us, and together we took a stroll in town. We really like Victoria, since it has a gathered city center, and it's all within walking distance from the docks. Victoria has the oldest Chinatown in Canada, and it's the second oldest in whole North America. Lyxigt att få åka på en, någon annans båt. Jag bara kan sitta ner så här och inte bry mig om någonting. <laughs> Mer än vad folk ser till mig att göra. Since the weather was so nice, we took the trawler for a drive in the inner harbor and in the bay outside. The boat is a beautifully restored Puget Trawler 44 from 1979. We're on our way to uh, Port Angeles in the US. We left uh, Victoria in Canada about an hour ago. And uh, yeah, not much sailing today. No wind. And we have, it's only about 50 nautical miles across here. So I guess we'll be there in an hour or so, a bit more. Tomorrow the wind is going to pick up. Um, going to be around 30 knots, so thought, okay, we're moving over today to the U.S. again. How are you feeling, Molly? I'm okay now, but I felt very nauseous in the beginning there. And now it's so sensitive, it's the same if I um, go in a car, if I just look down for a second, I feel very, very nauseous and same here. And then combine that with smells, <laughs> uh, like here, diesel smell or any smell, it's just so much stronger now, hard to handle. And I already, usually I have a sensitive nose, so now it's 
times times a thousand. <laughs> it's better now. So yeah, we um, we have some news that we want to share with you guys. Uh, we're going to extend the crew on board. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, having a baby. <laughs> We're so happy and grateful. Yeah. Uh, we've decided to share this now, even though it's pretty early, because I've been quite affected mm -hmm. from the pregnancy and being on a boat. Yeah, so of course, this will change our plans slightly. Uh, the baby is due in December. So our plans now is to head on down to Mexico, uh, and then we'll go back home to Sweden in October to have the baby. Uh, and um, South Pacific plans, we'll have to wait for a while. But we'll come back to the boat in the beginning of next year and we'll continue west of the Pacific with a baby on board. <laughs> <laughs> We're super excited. Yeah, this will be fantastic. <laughs> like in a half a mile it's time to take down the Canadian flag and hoist the American once again. First barbecue aboard Ron for the season. Mmm, good sauce, thank you. So we've been having some misfortunes yesterday when we checked in. Uh, we got our new cruising permit for the US and that's valid for another year, 12 months. So, so far everything is fine. But they wouldn't give us a new stamp in our passports. Because they said that the old one that we got in January when we came back from Sweden, that that one is still valid until uh, I think it was July 9th. So they said you have to wait until you're getting closer to that date and then maybe you can get an extension of that date when you're down in California. But they couldn't promise anything because that's up to the, yeah, the local customs, I guess. So now we have yeah, around 10 weeks to sail the whole west coast of the US. Uh, down to Mexico to leave the country really because yeah we don't know if we can uh, get an extension so I mean we're not stressed it's not that far it's around 1500 nautical miles but it's a bit it's a pity because we wanted to spend a bit more time in the US to see all the nice stuff all along the west coast there's a lot of nice areas to explore so I guess we just have to stay a little bit shorter on in each place and uh, yeah that's how it is and it's pretty windy today our plan is to leave day after tomorrow Sunday and this wind should come down until then and turn so it comes from the east so we can sail with the wind with us out to yeah, Nia Bay maybe we make a stop there until Monday and then we'll uh, start heading south uh, I think right now our plan is to go as far as uh, Crescent City 
maybe to um, Eureka. It's about, I don't know, 300 or uh, 400 nautical miles down there. So it'll take us around three days. And uh, as it looks right now, the high pressure should be pre pretty stable. So we'll have uh, northerly winds going south between uh, 15 to 25 knots. So according to the forecast, it looks like it could be a pretty nice sail going down there. And no rain, so hopefully some sun as well. Yeah, unfortunately Malin doesn't feel too well. So I really hope she feels better before we leave here because it will be the open sea again. Bigger waves and more motion on the boat. So of course that's not very fun if you don't feel alright. So I really hope she feels better before we leave. If not, we might stay, but it is a very good window. So I think she wanna leave as well, but going to the fuel dock now to top up on fuel uh, both uh, gasoline for the generator and diesel and then we we think we'll just stay on the, on the harbor office dock which is just next to the fuel dock for the night because uh, then we'll, it will be easy to move tomorrow to leave the dock On the pilot boat got the forest to the fuel dock so we just tied up here for a couple of minutes so I'm on my way to do some grocery shopping for tomorrow we're leaving early tomorrow morning which is a bit of a pity because it looks really great this area south of Port Angeles here. It would have been nice to get a car and get out in the in the nature here. Looks spectacular with the mountains and forest up here. But unfortunately we don't have the time so yeah that's just how it is. We need to go. bit after seven and uh, we're leaving Port Angeles for uh, sailing south. I don't know how much sailing will be today though. It's very calm but it looks like it's going to be a really nice day. But according to the forecast <coughs> the wind will pick up later today for the rut. So we just need to get going. So finally some sailing again, it's not very fast, not a lot of wind, doing close to 5 knots, yeah Malin is below, resting, she's been having a lot of morning sickness the last couple of days, so of course it's not easier with heading out to sea when you have that on top, so she doesn't feel very well, but she's a trooper so I told her it's up to her, she will have to decide if we'll continue or if we make a stop in Nia Bay. 
but we'll see when we get there. It's about 20 nautical miles to Nia Bay and uh, native village they have a marina so yeah it's possible to stop there it's also possible to anchor actually but um, I think we've decided to continue it's such a good weather window these coming days so I think we will regret it if we don't take the chance to go south Confused seas, huh? Mm, huge swell. Yeah. Really big swell. We just left uh, Juan de Fuca, the strait, and we're now out in the open ocean. The wind has picked up a bit. Right now we have 15 knots of wind, and we're doing 8 knots of speed. And the seas are a bit better now. For a while over there there were very confused seas. Um, and they say that this area that's Vancouver Island you see over there the strait is over there and there's the, the cape this whole area is littered with shipwrecks it's old sailing vessels a lot of steamers that has been caught on this lee coast over here on Vancouver Island in heavy storms from the southwest so Hopefully we won't be one of them. <laughs> it's been a great day really. Good sailing almost the whole day. Bit light winds for a while. But now the wind is perfect and according to the weather forecast it's supposed to be turning a bit more to the north when we get uh, a bit further south. Uh, right now we have a beam, beam reach. But I think it will be a broad reach uh, in a couple of hours. Um, not so many fishing nets. I was a bit worried that this whole area would have been uh, littered with a lot of fishing nets and crab pots and stuff like that. But so far it seems to be not so much. I think it's a bit too deep maybe. It's around uh, yeah, 100 meters now. Malin is resting a bit, a bit seasick, and I can understand it. The seas were pretty big over there for a while. And uh, yeah, we haven't been sailing for a while, uh, especially not in uh, the open ocean. The last time we were sailing in the open ocean was uh, between, uh, yeah, in the Gulf of Alaska. So that was many, many months ago. We still haven't decided where we will go, but we're leaning against maybe we're going to Coos Bay because the wind is going to pick up uh, late Thursday evening and yeah, the night until Friday. So, yeah, so I think we, we stop in Coos Bay just before the, the wind picks, picks up.
Hope you guys want to join us on this new chapter in life. And as always, thanks for watching.